down is wrong with you All the highs and lows with you Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing and please if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Turn the revenue new bank or a new exclusivity, you will definitely be notified. His Excellency Turkey al has revealed his plans for Anthony Joshua, and uh, he knows he, he you know that he loves Joshua very much. He adores Joshua. He respects Joshua. He sees Joshua as his, as his brother, same way he sees basically every fighter you know he interacts with basically, because Turkey Lashik is one guy that you have to really respect, in a sense that Turkey Lashik has really um really done a lot to put the the ego aside you know you know you know make promoters become partners instead of enemies you know make doubters become believers and that's what matters the most in boxing so according to his excellency he said he he, he confirmed this plan um for joshua and he said that uh, his plan for joshua is to face egovich philip egovich is the boy winner on what um his promise will be a crazy card on september 20th or 21st at wembley then fear versus usik two winner in 21st quarter in uh 2025 that is quite interesting because it makes it makes me ask the question where is wilder in all this because wilder of one the Joshua fight. But I understand the reason why it's says Alessi Tokyo Lashik doesn't want to get that fight made now. Because now you look at things, uh, because Wilder's stock <clears throat> um fell um after the loss to to Fury, but the third the trilogy bout uplifted is 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 um uh, is talk basically and then the fight against parker just made things a little bit uneasy for water it made things to go back to height where before so wilder now need to get back on his on the winning streak on, on his winning streak and then he needs to have a winning streak and then go back to being the fighter we know or his water is a monster but the monster went to sleep because the monster didn't feel the need to to stay hungry anymore. But now, Wada has said the monster is back. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with Wada because we heard after Janjali, uh, uh, Jerry Anderson is there. One thing about Turkey Lash is that he's he's trying to make the best fights as much as possible and he's trying to also build fighters profile and that's the most important thing so i keep i just keep beating my head on the rock and just asking myself why 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 didn't Tokyo actually come you know five years ago why wasn't it involved five years ago imagine what we could have had now could have had now like boxing oh man boxing needs a Tokyo shake whether you like it or not boxing we don't need all these pbc fan boys these matron fan boys queensbury fan boys we go against each other i mean i'm not a fan boy for the professional company we go of any we go again people going against each other saying oh my my we my stable has the best fighters and then uh, and in uh, inside like we keep everything in house all those mentality ruins boxing but when you have promoters partnering together working together like basically the undefeated records become nothing it becomes just a num just a number it becomes what how many people how many people have you beaten how how how, how ready are you to get get in a ring how ready are you to like fight the best win lose or draw you can still come back and that is what makes things interesting because usually when fighters lose yeah 
the boxing fans forget about them or put uh, put them under the rug you know so of course the winner of Philip Egovich Dubois yeah would probably have would probably be be um be uh, the mandatory challenger for one of the belts that will be relinquished um this upcoming weekend believe you me one of the belts will be stripped it's just facts fear and usik might not fight for the undisputed second time yeah the ibf is very strict so the wbc is a different different organization those guys don't really keep up to the rules but ibf and sometimes wbo they stick to the rules you know so yeah guys what do you make of it what do you make of um sls is planned for at joshua um this is good for boxing i want to say i appreciate his excellency for you know all this bro is it is crazy how one man can literally this is why no sometimes i think about these countries saudi arabia qatar you know uh, united arab emirates you know oman so we sometimes look at the basically the internal abuses or the internal policies policy of their country and not look at how they've be able to tra- how they've been able to transform their country because any country can have wealth underneath their ground Nigeria for example we have oil right crude oil is like everywhere we're rich you know natural resources we have we have even have gold and stuff like that we have resources that we we've, we've never even like we've never even start to like like even explore you know but if we were to have the money the, if we were to have the same money that Saudi has or Qatar has or United Arab, Arab Emirates has our country will still be at a sad state because we don't have visionary leaders our people are greedy people can easily keep for some for something people are greedy people think of, think of themselves and their stomach first before even anybody so how do you expect people uh, a country but i'm not in every country you find these things though you find this is even you find these things in Saudi Arabia people think of themselves first but the difference is that if you have a leader that would guide you that would guide the people and make things work the people will start believing and the people will start thinking about the people first instead of themselves this is what happened in dubai in um you know that you know that arab, arab emirates is what happened in qatar is what happened in saudi arabia in oman those these countries despite some saying yeah oil oh, yeah, is going to run out very soon these guys are they are trying to diversify their economy and they are doing everything possible to make sure that their, their country is attractive okay we know that is an is islamic country is a very different culture and law to abide by there though is different okay that can never change saudi arabia for example has the two only to the they have two two of the two of the most holiest cities in the islam right so at uh mecca and mecca and medina those cities are holy they are holy cities bro so yeah you can never be like saudi can never be like america like where this liberalism you have people become men becoming women you know changing their name and you can get sued if you call someone by his birth name you know and they will say yeah i'm no longer jerry um my name is now is now uh jasleen then you begin to wonder what what was going on right here those things will never happen in saudi arabia never that's facts and as an african man i do support it you know man should be man woman should be woman this is what it is but you cannot decide for people what they become people are free to do what they want but some countries never accept stuff like that but like i said visionary leaders are what we need in africa and also we have to be greedy as well you have to be greedy 
if you look at Saudi Arabia and look at the Middle East right now, you see, look at the countries around them. Some countries like Lebanon, for example. Yeah, Arabic speaking country. We have Muslim and Christian there. Yemen, Arabic speaking country. Of course, you have different tribes there, like different ethnic groups. Some there are some uh, Berbers and stuff. There are not all of them are Arab Arabs by ethnicity, though. Some are Islamized, but not Arabs. You have you have the Kurdish people there. You have countries like Iraq. You know Iran. Iran is um Iran is a different kind of country because I just I still don't understand Iran. You know Persia is a very they have great history, but I I still don't understand that country Iran. I don't know because they used, they had king there before. And then the king was ousted, and then the guy now is an Islamic uh, uh, ruler. So it's very, very, it's very different. And then all this country, you see, there are poor countries basically around them, countries that are struggling hard. They are not trying to help everybody, because when you do that, you start creating terrorists in your country. Start these people start coming in, and then you know what they can do: create division. When you allow wrong people in your country, you get a divided country. And when you allow allow wrong people to rule your country, you get a disastrous country. That's why Nigeria, for example, can be the best country, one of the best countries in the world. We just need a visionary leader, but I don't think we will have that because. Our people, first of all, think of their belly first before anything else. The last election even showed it. People were being bribed for five naira, five five thousand naira, bro, selling their future out. So how do you expect those people to think for? The, they think because those people are thinking about their bellies. I understand that. And an um, an hungry man can take anything. But anyway, let's not make this about it. But I'm just saying that you see, Tony Alashik, one single man. Bring, bringing all promoters, all managers, all professional company, all the haters, all together under one roof. Yes, you can say money is involved, but money cannot do this alone. You have to be visionary. You have to be decisive. You have to be ambitious. You have to be non tolerant. You have to be also greedy, because. Saudi is not just throwing money out like that. No, they're also very greedy. They look at fights that make sense. The best fights will get made, not quack fights. Anyways, man, I don't want to run too much. So big ups to Trigger Lashik. Big ups to Cecil Leslie for doing that. Big ups Saudi and big ups to the Crown Prince, uh, Mohammed Bissama. God bless you guys. Cheers.